Oh, uh, what was that? Oh, I didn't see you there. You know, I think I'm just gonna run. Oh, couldn't get away. Yeah, a speed stat difference. Take down, that's a miss. Let's try it again. There we go. Maybe we should put someone else in front, maybe... Maybe you? Oh no, maybe, maybe you. You hit harder, probably. And you're gonna evolve soon, and that's gonna make you a pretty great Pokémon. Okay. Oh, Riolu, but Riolu has to be in the base game, right? Not you. Yeah. Yeah, right, there's the, uh, there's the one, uh, terrestrializing, uh, Lucario. I remember. Come on, just climb. There you go, anything of interest in here? Oh, who are you? Are you a dragon tamer? You look like a dragon tamer. Victory is... Elusive. Uh, victory is 99% skill and 1% luck. And knowing that is the key to victory. You're challenged by, uh, uh, by Airy the Dragon Tamer. Well, good thing I have an Ice Pokemon in front. Ah, right, we just have Blizzard, I just realized. So the accuracy of that is gonna be low. Rain Dance. I don't know if that changes the uh, accuracy of Blizzard. Well, we hit it anyways, so that's good, that's nice. Uh, Jangmo. Alright, you're gonna hit... Uh, you're gonna go for a uh, fighting type move, I assume. Which would be super effective, and I don't want to risk a second... Um, you know, a second... Blizzard, I just don't trust the accuracy. So let's swap in Yan Mega, and then go for Air Slash. After we hopefully tank a fighting type move. At least I assume it probably has one. I guess we'll see. No, drag you're dragon dancing. Oh, I don't like that. That? I'm not a fan of. Okay. Let's air slash you. See how it goes. Another? Well, let's hope that does it. It does not. At least we get a speed boost. And that made us faster. Very nice, very nice. Okay. There we go, your Mega levels up. W wait. 4,200 in prize money, nice. Anything else we can find here? Let's just jump from uh, from peak to peak, I guess we could call it. Is there maybe an item on here? Oh, there's a sign. I wonder what it says. Ooh, a lemonade. Come on, ice heal. One of the six wonders of Kitakami, uh, the Fallen Horn. The large pointed rock uh, spire jutting out from the lake ahead is called the Fallen Horn. Uh, this giant rock was actually one of the horns atop Mount, uh, Mount, atop Oni Mountain. When the horn fell, its tip broke off. This part of the horn is now enshrined at Kitakami Hall. Leave me alone, Riolu. I don't want to fight you. A volleyball. More apoms. Ah, Ogre Clan, okay. Now we're talking. Uh, I'm Hasebe of the Kitakami Ogre Clan. I control the rain and wash away my foes. Is that so? You're challenged by Hasebe of the uh, Kitakami Ogre Clan. Politoed, okay. Well, maybe that wasn't the best choice. Drizzle. I assume you're gonna go for a water-type move now? 
I mean, it would make sense, so let's swap in Juice, should be a relatively safe switch. I mean, not, does it, not that it really matters, but still. There we go. Super sweet syrup. Evasiveness has fallen. Let's surf. We tank that. Let's hit it with an energy ball if possible. Ice beam. Well, that's less good. Okay. I see how it is. So, ice coverage. That's not great. Um. Hmm. We probably don't outspeed it with anything, really. Except for maybe Young Mega? Let's see if it can deal some damage, and then we could bring in uh, Mighty Anna for Sucker Punch. But these guys are tougher than I thought, okay. What level is it, actually? Oh, 75! That explains some things, doesn't it? Um... Buckwurst? Mm. Yeah, I see, uh, Mighty Anna doesn't tank any hits. Well, that's not good. Um, I guess we're gonna have to try this. But, like, water moves are super effective, so I don't like my chances here. Plus, boosted by the rain. Yeah? I think that's a wipe. I think that is a wipe. We're gonna come back to them once we have a similar level to them. Okay, let's bring in my Tiana. I don't think the um, I don't think the sucker punch is gonna do much. I mean, my Tiana is very weak, and Holy Toad is a special attacker. Yeah, that does nothing. Okay. Alright, so level 75, we should keep that in mind. Um, we pre I'm pretty sure we don't outspeed with uh, Cinnamon either. And the rain doesn't help, but let's try extra sensory. Yeah, there it is. Does it have Swift Swim? Does it get that? No, wait, it, dri it has Drizzle, right. Uh, smart. Come on, Torterra. Wait a second, it carries a damp rock, huh? To keep it going for longer. Yeah, it's just gonna ice beam. Um, let's still click that. No, it's gonna surf. Because it's enough, okay. Yeah, level 40 something is not gonna be enough against the level 75. Okay. Well, let's go back then. Let's uh, go about our day without challenging uh, them quite yet. Maybe when we have a stronger team. All right, there we are again. Be more careful, sure. Uh, let's see, let's fly over here. Yeah, there we go. And let's see. <clears throat> Let's get back out here. Oh wait, I remember. Let's see. Tree don't get in my way, please. Fake tears. And now let's jump out from uh, this point. And see what we can find here. Ah, I thought there would be something special up on this one. It, it makes so much sense to place something on the top of something like this. Okay, now on we go. Oh, there's a flying spot here, I didn't notice. But alright, let's... Come on, jump that. Oh, great. Let's just fly across here. Any good Pokémon in the water? Corfish, ducklets, that's what I've seen so far. A Dreadnought. Let's jump out. 
for now. Staravia. Alright. X attack. Ether. Then uh, you collect that. Luxury ball. Spikes. Now that's interesting. A oh, bit of a hiccup there from the game. A revive. Let's climb up. Oh, there's a Lucario. Hello there. Heavy slam. Uh, Ponyards are around here. Okay. Ah. Grubbin. Wait, did we catch one of those already? We did not. I do like, uh, I do like Vika Vault. It's a bit slow, but we could use it. One, two, three. Thank you. Okay. Grubbin, the lava Pokemon. It spits, uh, it spits sticky threads and winds them around branches, then swings nimbly from tree to tree in a pendulum, uh, in a pendulum-like motion. Okay. Nickname for Grubbin. Let's keep in mind it's going to be a Vika Vault. What would we call it? Okay, so I'm just going to call it Current, spelled like the berry. You know, I think that's somewhat clever wordplay. Like an electric current, but also like the current berry. I'll take it, that's fine. Okay, uh, you know what? Add it to the party. <clears throat> I'm gonna replace Young Mega here. Yeah, yeah, I think that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> and current is added to the team. It should evolve next time it reaches a new level. And then we can give it a stone, I think. Okay, Bombardia. Do we risk a blizzard? I think we do. Rock slide. That doesn't do much. Ah, flinch. That is unfortunate. Come on now. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, it lived. It actually lived. Well, it's ancient power it then. Another rock slide. Flinch. This is annoying. There it is. And that should do it. There we go. Bombardia fainted. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah. Um, we're gonna get that. Oh, um, we should uh, heal you up. And maybe we should put someone faster in the front again. Like. I like uh, Piloswine, it's gonna be even better when it evolves, but, oh there's a charger bug, but I'm just gonna keep current. Um, Alright, a max potion, let's grab this as well, oh, well that didn't work, but I also saw an item back there, so I'm quickly gonna grab that, and there we go. Fire Blast. That seems good. Oh, Lucario was sitting there under the tree, calm uh, and uh, meditating, I guess, maybe. Or just resting. Items, heal powder, that I'm most likely never gonna use. Timer Ball. Oh, this seems like a new area. Timeless Woods. Any new Pokemon in here? Ah, let's drop down and find out. Oh! Just a hat tenner. Phantom. A Reaper Cloth. There's an Impidimp. Is Impidimp in the game? It is, and we caught it. I, I meant, of course, the base game. Because, yeah, it's right in front of me. Right now it's in the game. Just wasn't sure if it always was. Spinnerack Thread. Oh, a Trevenant uh, that's um, terror typed. Okay. Oh, wrong button because I'm smart. Experience candy. Indeedy is right here. 
We have caught one. Very good. Agua Berry. There's an area dose. And a Grim Snarl. Just in case you want to skip that as well. <laughs> a Snorlax uh, sleeping in front of the cave entrance. And there's a. Ah, well, let's. Oh, we caught it off guard. Interesting. Level 76. Snorlax. Does Snorlax get guts? Let's risk it. Let's hope it doesn't. Snorlax was burned. Couldn't move. Free turn then. Alright. Snorlax's special attack is insane. Let's switch into Burger and try to hit it with an Earthquake, maybe? Let's hope Snorlax doesn't get Guts, because I'm really not sure if it does. It seems like a Pokémon that might- OH NO! Now that is unfortunate. I'd really like a Pokémon with Protect right now. Okay, end of the turn, it's over. That's gonna KO though. Yeah, saw that one coming from a mile away. But at least the burn is gonna take it out now. Burn and there we go. The Snorlax has fainted. Some level ups. Gonna have to revive Burger here. And I'm gonna give it some, um, some XP, I think. Just so it, you know, levels up maybe at some point. Because I'm tired of waiting. Oh, you don't need a lot, huh? Is that enough? Not quite. One more? No? There we go. And now Burger is gonna be much stronger. Let's see. There's the glorious beast. Wanna learn any new attacks? Twin Tusk Pokemon. Uh, frozen one is, was dug up uh, from... S A frozen one was dug up from, so uh, from soil dating back one... Uh, <clears throat> try that again. A frozen one was dug up from soil dating back 10,000 years. It woke up to much amazement. Very cool. I love Mammoth Swine, it's so cool. Double hit. Uh, I guess we'll look at it, but I don't think we'll take it. Yeah, no. No. But let's take a look whether we can teach it something new. Let's take a look, check summary. Uh, remember a move. Double it, take down, amnesia, icy wind, uh, endure. It's it's low um, low attack kind of. So um, tackle fail, powder snow, ice fang. I would really like a stronger physical ice type move. I guess we'll give it ice fang for now. Maybe instead of thrash. Like, oh, Blizzard, what's our special attack? It's like, a hundred points lower. I don't think Blizzard pays off with the accuracy and all that. I'm gonna replace it. If our special attack is that much lower, then honestly, I, I just really don't think it's worth it. Uh, let's see if we can learn anything from TMs. Take down Charm, Mud Slap, Scary Face, Protect, Trailblaze. Grass type move, okay. Facade, Bulldoze, Icy Wind, Mud Shot, Rock Tomb, Avalanche. Oh, Avalanche is physical. Um, we are slow. Okay, we could do that. We could use Avalanche. Instead of Ice Fang. It's like 5 base points less, but 100% accurate. And we can double the damage. So, I think that's the better choice here. 
Slurn Avalanche, Rainland, Sandstorm, Snowscape. Uh, a dig, reflect, rest, rock slide, body press. Oh, body press could be good. I think it's probably bulky, right? We could use some uh, fighting type coverage. Though, fighting is strong against rock, steel, normal, ice, and dark. Yeah, you know, there's some coverage in there that we don't have coverage for. Normal, dark, ice. No, ice we have ancient power for. But uh, we have nothing else for normal, obviously. But it's just uh, rock and steel that overlap with ground. So, uh, yeah, I'll replace thrash with body press. There we go. That could be cool. Wait, is that even worth it? Um, wait, our defense is actually pretty low. Let's uh, replace that again. I thought our defense would be better than that, but apparently we're not as bulky as I thought. Um, not, not forget a move. Um, I'm gonna replace it again. Bit of a waste of TMs, but I guess that happens sometimes. I thought it would be, uh, it, it would be bulkier. Heavy slam, amnesia, earth power, reversal. Ice beam, blizzard, stone edge, giga impact, hyper beam, terror blast, icicle spear. I guess we could learn reversal, but that's dependent on losing health. Hmm. Ah, this uses attack or special attack, whichever is higher for the user. But we don't have some sort of outlandish terror type, so it's not really that useful. We could use it to set up stealth rocks. That would be fun. Use that uh, as a lead for stronger battles, set up stealth rocks and harm all the enemies when, uh, when, uh, when they enter the field. I think that would be sensible. Sure. Let's replace body press with uh, stealth rock. There we go. There we go, yeah. All right. That seems fine. Now let's look into the cave here. Uh, there's a Gumi. Well, we have to get through it apparently. Oh, also a Sligu over there. Um, extra sensory, I guess. Oh, that didn't do anything. Curse. You're just gonna get bulkier. And uh, get higher attack. I don't know if you have anything threatening. Well, it's Willow Wisp you. Since you're so bulky. Whittle you down a bit. And, of course, weaken the uh, physical attack that was just raised. Muddy Water, not a fan of that. Accuracy fell. That's unfortunate. Um, let's switch out. It's probably gonna Muddy Water again, and then we can Dragon... Um, yeah, Dragon Pulse, yes since the uh, special defense was not raised, but the uh, physical defense was. I think that seems more reasonable to me. There we go. There we go, and your invasiveness falls. Body slam? Oh yeah, right. Wild Pokemon choose moves randomly, and not with some uh, logic behind it. Dragon Pulse! There we go. Goodbye, Gumi. Goodbye. There's a level 4. You okay? Let's grab that. Masterpiece Teacup. A peculiar teacup. Okay, I... I suppose that's how you, um... Evolve Sinister into a Pul Geist, Right? Let's take a quick look at the Pokedex. If that is how it works, or if it is uh, the, the other way around this time. Do we have it anywhere here? Because, you know, you... Okay, so Sinister is the evolution of Poltergeist. 
Okay, interesting. So, I, I guess you pour it from the container into the cup, so they did flip it. Cool, cool. Um, since I'm already using a uh, grass type in, uh, in Dippling, I might just not use it, but we should probably, uh, probably evolve it at some point. Apricot berry, okay. A Mimikyu over there. Ah, let's cl come on, climb that, please. You're right on. Why do you not climb it? There we go. That's better. Kitakami Wilds, okay. Grab that. A leaf stone. What's that over there? Oh, it's another sea dot. Okay. Those seem to be everywhere around here. Dragon Dance. Now that sounds great. Dragon Dance for some setup. I could make use of that. There we go. Elixir. Ooh, there was a Gyarados floating in there. Seems dangerous. A regular Quagsire was there. Not a uh, Clodsire as would be common in Paldea. Yanma. Let's go up here. Oh, it's just Spinarak. Reversal. Lota, Toad's, cr uh, Toad's Cruel, yes. Ah. Okay, what else can we find here? There's a Mighty Yenna. Alright, there's a... Is that someone swimming in the water? Terrestrialized? It's a Swanner, okay. Uh, don't really need a Swanner, to be honest. Oh, oh it's a Masquerade, okay. Gardevoir over there. But we don't need that. There's Surf. Primate, Predant. Oh, there's a... There's one of the Wonders, I suppose. You've unlocked a new area for the Ogre Ousting game. Oh, great. That's exactly what I needed. One of the six Wonders of uh, Kitakami, the Gracious Stones. Can I click it? There we go. Only a select few know of this power spot, the Gracious Stones. Curiously, no grass grows within their ring. Curiouser yet, uh, gazing upon them lifts the spirits. Yes, it's uh, marvelous. Alright. Growlithe. I would like a Hisuian one. Not the regular one, even though the typing for Hisuian Growlithe isn't... You know, it, it's, not, it's not particularly great. But it is pretty cool. Um, okay. Come on, pick that up, thank you. Another revive. Let's jump down. This is the Paradise Barrens. Oh, Nose Pass, okay. This is... Paradise Barrens? That's where the uh, uh, thingamajig should be, the signpost, right? That's over here, yes. Okay. There's also a... Ooh, a Mudbray as well. I really like mud, uh, Mudsdale. But I think... I think I've never used a... Um, I've never used a Jangmo before. So... Maybe we could use that. Having a pseudo legendary on our team could be cool. Plus, uh, I think Jangmo is kind of uh, underrated. I, I like it. I really do like it. Oh, that that hurt more than uh, than I uh, hoped it would. Oh, it's not fighting type yet. Okay. Um, I guess then we can hit it with the extra sensory. Maybe we can. Flinch! Very good. 
Now just a quick attack. Not quite enough. Outrage again. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Oh, if it gets confused now, let's hope it doesn't kill itself. Uh, choose the next Pokémon. Um, I guess Burger can be a bit tankier. There we go. Let's try to catch it with a um, great uh, Ultra Ball. There we go. Let's try to catch you now. Crit Capture. That makes it easier. Okay. Now let's see, Jangmo, the scaly Pokémon. They communicate with their allies using a sound, uh, using the sounds their scales make when struck. A group of these Pokémon causes quite a racket. Yes, a nickname, but what do we call it? What do we call it? After much deliberation, I've decided to name it because it's from Alola after a tiki drink. I think that's fine. Fog Cutter. Uh, let's add it to the party. <clears throat> And, um, my Tiena, I'm sorry to say, but that's it for your stay in the party. You go to the box now. And this one should evolve the next two times it levels up anyways. Mudfray was in the base game, okay. Let's see then. Um, 